I started this project with the default cube and I changed the size to 9 meter by 6 by 6 meters. So basically like a real size building. And I also have a step by step 4 hour long tutorial how I created this building. So if you want to learn everything from modeling, texturing, lighting and rendering, you can check out the link down there in the description and also learn it like that. There are a lot of tips, tricks and techniques that you will learn out from this one. And here I use really cool trick. I'm showing this in a full length tutorial, in step-by-step -step tutorial, how to use bevel with a clamping option so you don't overdo it and uh, have a mess with edges, etc. Here I'm showing two different ways how you can easily create windows in your building. So first one is really fast and easy. Select all the polygons that represent windows, then inset it, scale it and extrude it in and then subdivide it once and then again inset it and extrude it and you're done. The second way is a little bit longer, but it's much better on the long run because you have a full control over the window in the future. So basically I'm making just one window as a separate object and then I will copy it as an instance to all other window holders in the building and then in the future whenever I want to change something on a window I don't need to go to, through all the windows I can just do it on this one and then it will change to all other ones. You saw the red color of some polygons on the window so every time I do modeling I always like to check my normals because a lot of times you can just flip your normals by mistake or by purpose whatever but uh, you need to check it and uh, also correct that. There are a lot of cool tricks that you can learn from this tutorial obviously in the long version, 4 hours long version step by step instructions and you can use it in any type of modeling that you're doing especially if you're a beginner I recommend you to watch my beginner course that is uh, made out of 10 different episodes and it's completely free it's here at my channel and also then continue watching other episodes because you will learn a bunch of cool modeling stuff and you will be able to create everything on your own later. Here I start modeling stairs with really cool trick with the bevel and the stair preset. This is really simple and easy. And then again like the windows above, made these small windows, then doors just by selecting the polygon and then extrude it in etc. Here you can see that if you made some changes to one window it will be automatically applied to all the windows because I made them as an instances and that's a really cool advantage in certain situations like this one. Here I'm using really cool trick instead of making the rail of the balcony completely from scratch from a cube for example I just use the copy of the edges from the balcony lower part and then turn that into a curve and by messing with the settings I turn it into a cubical rail that you can see right here. Also the next step will be to create the fence details like you can see right here but not that simple ones I want to create a little bit more fancy and for that I'm using curves. But in order to make them more interesting I'm enabling two add-ons curve tools and curve extra objects and then I'm making this shape and turning this shape with the same trick that I did with the balcony rail into a 3D mesh and then applying again another cool trick with the array modifier and how to make an object to follow a certain curve with the array at the top of it and also I have a full tutorial completely just on that topic so you can check it out if you are not sure how to do it. Also you can download this project file, this blender file of the building and all materials, uh, lighting setup and everything that I'm doing here. Again the link is down there in the description, everything is on my Patreon account so if you want to support me over there and get something in return this is a great way to do it.
modeling part is finally done and now it's time to texturize the building to add some materials and obviously it's a building and first thing that I like to do is to add some kind of a brick to the building so I use a brick texture node and just connect it to the color but also I use a different trick to add two different nodes so a color mix node and RGB node just to easily change the color of the bricks if I want to have something else than the red that I chose but this looks really really cool also I selected the different parts of the building to apply different materials and different colors because in that way in my opinion the building looks better than just to have all uh, like red bricks and that's it so here I will leave you to watch the rest of the texturing part where I'm basically selecting different elements and different polygons and just applying different textures and colors. And now it's finally time to add some lights to the scene. So first light that I use is the HDRI type of light that I got from polyheaven.com and then I build the scene up with different lights basically with the area type of light. Here I'm just changing the texture on the window because I missed that part out. So basically as you can see here area type of light and just position them in a different place and change the color and the brightness of that light and you will get different results. I am leaving you here to watch the rest of the video and the final result.
And this is the final result. I really hope that you like it. And if you like this video and found it helpful, for sure you will like this one. See you in my next one. Bye bye.